Good evening. Welcome to uh, the Northampton Special City Council meeting of uh, June 28, 2016. I'm City Council President Bill Dwight, and I will be presiding. Uh, this is a full council meeting, and uh, as such, of course, we start all our meetings with an opportunity for the public to speak. Um, and I don't have anyone signed up here, but is there anyone in from the public who's interested in speaking at this time? Okay, well then we will go right into the business at hand and I'll ask the administrative assistant to please call the roll. Councilor Bidwell. Here. Councilor Carney. Present. Councilor Dwight. Here. Councilor Klein. Here. Councilor Lavard. Present. Councilor Murphy. Here. Councilor O'Donnell. Here. Councilor Sheriff. Here. Well, we have a quorum. And I will take advantage of that quorum right now and announce here that there will be a public hearing regarding the administrative order to amend administrative code part two sections 20.0. That's the Public Works Commission and 23.0 Public Shade Tree Commission and section 1.03 appointment of elected officials to serve on multiple member bodies and part one section 60 of the Public Works Division. And the following public hearing uh, is advertised in accordance with the Charter of Northampton, uh, Article 6, Administrative Organization 6-1, Organization of City Agencies. And by the order of the City Council, public hearing will be held on Thursday, July 14, 2016, at 7.15 in, here in the Council Chambers, uh, located at the Walls J. Pulchowski uh, Municipal Building at 212 Main Street, Northampton, Massachusetts. And the City Council will consider the proposed amendments to the City of Northampton Administrative Code. And I, had, I already announced those subsections for you, so you don't, I won't su you suffer you that again. Uh, the City Council will hear all persons who wish to be heard thereon. Now, uh, any one-minute announcements? Wow, it is so summer. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the Mayor, Your Honor, do you have any proclamations or communications? All right, okay. Uh, there are no resolutions, there are no presentations to my knowledge, and uh, we have a consent agenda, though. And this is, this is to approve appointments. And we have uh, reappointments to the Board of Registrars, as Charles uh, Klepacki of 26 Ferry Avenue, Janet Larson of 982 Florence Road in Florence, uh, reappointment to the Central Business Architecture Committee, that's Bruce Kravisky, of 23 Ice Pound Drive in Florence. Um, reappointment to the Disability Commission, Hannah Coyle of 3 Hampton Avenue. Um, and appointment to the Disability Commission of Judith Kimberly of 659 Park Hill Road in Florence. And the appointment to the Housing Partnership, Greta Hagen or Hagen of 16 Marcus Street, number 2C. And a reappointment to the Housing Partnership, Gordon Shaw of 582 Haydenville Road in Leeds, and I'll accept a motion on the consent agenda. Move to approve the consent agenda. Um, it should be noted that all of these came with approval from just moments ago. So. Yeah. Any, uh, all those in favor of the consent agenda, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. There you Did go. You the Wi-Fi? Is it not working? I got Are you guys on? Northampton Public Wi-Fi. You did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the e the City Hall Public's not working just yet, so if you go to the Northampton Public Wi-Fi, it'll bounce you every 15 minutes. Or you can get the weak signal from Peter Pan bus lines. <laughs> they, they did indicate that they were working on it. I sent in a work order today after the issues we had with it yesterday, so they are working on it. Okay, thanks. Now we come to financial orders. These are all second readings. This is the budget, as you recall, that we voted on not all that long ago. It's just um, at our last meeting on last Thursday. Um, so I'm not sure how you would like to proceed here. Um, we can go item by item. I will announce the items, and you can pick and choose which ones you want to, want to move as a group should you want to do so. Okay. Ooh, I might do that. How's that sound? Yeah, I, I thought you might. I would probably do that. Um, item 16.094 is a financial order to appropriate $84,044,076 for FY 2017 general fund budget. Move to approve. Motion is made. Is there a second? Second. For the discussion on this item. I do want to follow up on 
Council Murphy's um, observation, disappointment. I agree. I share his disappointment in the absence of, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> a public comment in, in this section. It's interesting. I understand it came up during the course of the debate, uh, budget scrutiny and budget, uh, budget oversight and discussion. Um, I would. I understand, I, you know, it's, 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 it's inappropriate to assume assent by absence of um, comment, but the fact is, is it's, a, it, it's also, I, I think possibly more to Councilor Murphy's point, it's we can assume ambivalence, which is too bad because, I mean, the budget, I understand I wouldn't ask anyone to go and pour over the entire budget, but just to read the letter of introduction and to understand the infrastructure of the budget and what it is that we are expecting um, from our budget, what we are expecting from our community. I, I would like, I would feel better if there were more community engagement on that. Um, I would, I, mean, I, I, on the other hand, we all have, uh, devoted scrutiny to this budget and discussion and review of department heads and interviewing uh, various departments. And it's not just in the separate hearings, but throughout the course of the year. We also understand how this works. But, and to that extent, that's our job and that's good. But I think that there, there is some responsibility should be borne by the public as well, because it is their job um, to at least understand what it is that their budget says about them as a community. Council LeBarge. Yes, and being at that debate last night, I, I do have to say, I think it is the taxpayer's responsibility if they possibly can come to the budget hearings. And that's where we actually asked our questions. That has to do with exactly what is happening here with our departments and our budget. You know, we cannot increase our budget but we can decrease that budget. Right. So I think as a city councilor, it's very valuable to attend these budget hearings because that's how I learn. I look at my budget book. If I have a problem, I do call department heads and talk with them. So hearing what I heard last night really upset me because people need to realize if they don't come here, we cannot read their minds. And that's what these budget hearings are for. If they have a problem, then they should come forth. Well, that said, um, is there any other comment or discussion on this item? All right, I'll ask for a roll call, please. Councilor Carney. Yes. Councilor Dwight. Yes. Councilor Klein. Yes. Councilor Labard. Yes. Councilor Murphy. Yes. Councilor O'Donnell. Yes. Councilor Sheriff. Yes. <laughs> yes, that passes in second reading. Um, and further on, along with the other items, we have item 16.095, this is a financial order, to appropriate the sum of $588,450 for the FY17 solar. Oh, I would Council Murphy has a another yeah. insightful motion. I'd like to move all of the enterprise funds budgets together. The next that four would be, items. Yes, yeah, 16.095, which is solid waste. 096, which is sewer, 097, which is water, and 098, which is stormwater. These are all of those enterprise budgets. Okay, well, the motion's made in second. So, okay. Uh, all in favor of moving these as a group, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any, any abstentions? Okay. So, the, uh, for the record, those are items are the 16.095 financial order, as I said, to appropriate the sum of $588,400 for the FY. 17 solid waste enterprise fund, then 16.096, the financial order to appropriate the sum of $6,271,872 for the FY 2017 sewer enterprise fund. And then item 16.097 is the financial order to appropriate the sum of $7,463,768 for the FY 17 water enterprise fund. And then finally, Item 16.098, the financial order to appropriate the sum of $1,957,558 for the FY17 Stormwater Enterprise. Fund. Make a motion to move as a group. Is there a second? Yeah. Well, the, yeah, the motion's made and seconded for that. So, any discussion on these items? 
Roll call, please. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Sheriff? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Those items are approved in second reading. Now, next 16.099 financial order to approve the revolving fund accounts for FY 2017. Um, I'll spare you the reading. Moved to Is everyone okay with that? I see a lot of nodding heads. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'll second that. Okay, was there a motion of for uh, Council of Barge? Oh, I'm sorry, in a second? Second. Okay. Discussion? Roll call, please. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Sierra? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Now we have item 16.101, the financial order to appropriate uh, capital projects from the FY 2016 general fund undesignated fund balance. Move to approve. Second. Made seconded. Um, I'll waive reading again if everyone's okay with that. Uh, any discussion on this? Roll call, please. Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Sheriff? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. That passes in second reading. Item 16.102 is a financial order to appropriate capital projects from receipts reserved for appropriation. Uh, parking. Move to approve. Second. second. Motion's made and seconded. Discussion. Roll call, please. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Sheriff? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labarge? Yes. That passes in second reading. Item 16.103, financial order to appropriate capital projects from receipts reserved for appropriation, the sale of land account to be used for a citywide fueling depot project. Move approval. Second. Motion's made and seconded. Discussion? Roll call, please. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Sheriff? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor yes. Uh, Labarge? Thank you, Councilor Murphy. Yes, <laughs> Murphy. Uh, item 16.104. This is the order to appropriate $51,663.36 for the Police Department Firing Range, second reading. Move to approve. Second. second. Motion is made and seconded. Discussion on this item. Roll call, please. Councilor Sheriff? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Passes in second reading. Item 16.105, this financial order to appropriate $100,000 for retrofitting replacement uh, slash replacement of windows and develop plans for HVAC solution uh, for the Forbes Library. Motion's made. Second. 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 Okay. Discussion on this item? Roll call, please. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Sheriff? Yes. That passes in second reading. Item 16.106, a uh, financial order to appropriate $37,300 for the West Farms and Park Street Cemetery. Second reading. Move approval. Second. Second. Motion's made and second. Discussion, please. Roll call, please. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Sheriff? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. That passes in second reading. Item 16.107, financial order to appropriate $344,359 for capital projects from the Capital Stabilization Fund. This is second reading. Move to approve. Second. Motion's made and seconded. Any discussion? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Yes. Councilor Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Sheriff? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Also passed on second reading. Item 16.117, a financial order to reprogram funds for the purpose of preparing architectural plans for the R.K. Finn Ryan Road School Cafeteria. Actually, could I move three things as a group? There are three school expenditures. The, the school expenditures? Yeah. 117, which is Ryan Road. 120, which is Leeds Elementary, roof replacement schematic, and 
121, which is roof replacement schematic and design feasibility for Bridge Street. So it's Ryan Road, Bridge there. Right. They're all schools. Need to move those as a group. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> Abstentions. Okay. So we will move those as a group, and I will, for the benefit of the reading, I'll tell you what they are. As I said, item 16.117 is a financial order to reprogram funds for the purpose of preparing architectural plans for the RK Finn Ryan Road School cafeteria. Uh, then the next, which is 16.120, financial order to appropriate $40,000 for a roofing replacement schematic design feasibility study at Leeds Elementary School. And then finally, 16.121, a financial order to appropriate $40,000 for a roofing replacement schematic design feasibility study at Bridge Street Elementary School. And those are all second readings. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labarge? Yes. <clears throat> Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Shera? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Those pass in second reading. Now we bop back up to 16.119 financial order regarding the senior center gift fund expenditures. Move to approve. Second. second. Motion's made and seconded. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Shera? Yes. Councilor Bidlow? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Those, uh, that passes in second reading. And then the final financial order, 16.123, is the financial order for budget transfers, a second reading. Move to approve. Motion made and second. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Shera? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labar? Yes. That, that passes in. Uh, in second reading, uh, Council Murphy is pointing out that I missed. So that's under orders, though. That's where it was. Okay. Yeah, that's where coming up. Oh, that's coming up. I'm sorry. That's an order. So now we're into orders. We have two of them, both in second reading. One is uh, item 16.116, and that's an order to allow the school district to enter into contracts for instructional materials for a period not to exceed six years. Move to approve. Second. Motion's made in second. Any further discussion on this? Roll call, please. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. Councilor Shera? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. That passes in second reading. Our final order is 16.118. That's an order to accept Bottoms Road as the city street in second reading. Approval. Approval. Second. Discussion? Roll call, please. Councilor Shera? Yes. Councilor Bidwell? Yes. Councilor Carney? Yes. Councilor Dwight? Yes. Councilor Klein? Yes. Councilor Labarge? Yes. Councilor Murphy? Yes. Councilor O'Donnell? Yes. That passes in second reading. I have um, no updates, no screeds, no rants or anything else. Um, there's no new business. So we are left with the final item. I'll, wait, uh, I'll accept a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you all very much. That was wow. Wow. I did have. Uh Better, I know this no, color is a little lackluster. <laughs> this is easy to ignore. It's like a hospital. They're not orange. It's like a, it's like a psych ward, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They're trying to tell us something. Yeah.